we have a guest. Mm. And before there was a Coach Prime, it was him. Mm. I know Coach Prime gets all the credit and the praise right this second. But before him, there was one man. Before there was a LeVar Ball, Shut that shit off, man. there was one man. That's right. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Nah, if he had some cereal. We have none other than fucking Coach Roy oh, man. is in the building. Come on, clap it up for Coach Roy. Thank you. Coach Roy said he wanted to hear some nonsense. Oh, you got to come closer and get this. Come on, come on, come up here. It's all right. It's all right. You calling a nigga from behind? We have the legend, Coach Roy, in the building with us here at the JPP. Come on, man. Come on. I appreciate it. I really, 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 really appreciate it. No, no, no. We appreciate it. No, we here. Yeah. We, we, yeah, we yeah, appreciate it. I, I could not be happier that you're here. You're in better shape than I than I thought. Like you in real like football shape. Yeah, stress will do that to you. <laughs> yeah. If well, you, you want to lose weight, just stay up all night and read Twitter. Get a heart ache. Oh, that, oh, that, oh, you, yeah. true, oh true. you got a Twitter? Yeah. Tell him what's his Twitter. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> 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 you tell them, I don't need nobody else to watch Twitter. <laughs> I'm good. Hey, oh, hey, tell them your man. social. Well, I'm good. They Zero found seven it, seven six four eight nine six one. Holler at me. I'm claiming bankruptcy, hey. so if y'all want to get it, you better oh, get it now. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, now and I have you claimed bankruptcy? Yeah, I told you. I don't lie about shit I can prove. Because they was coming for you. Was they coming for you after the doc? Coach Roy is from BS High. If you haven't seen it, it's on Max. I've seen it multiple times. As recently as this morning, <laughs> easily one of my favorite docs. Coach easily. Roy, let's start with how has your life changed since this doc has been released? This is one of my favorite docs of the year. Nah, it's up there um, in the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. Nah, this is one of them. It should be because I was in it. Now Straight you, up and down. And like you was I honest? Yeah, and I tell the truth. That's the problem, right? So people. Well, don't everybody understand else it. in there said you was lying. Mm -hmm. But, but they, they can't prove it. I don't lie about shit you can prove, so. If you got it out there and it's in front of there, you ask me, yeah, I did it. Okay, well. And if it, if it can't be proven, then that means that I didn't do it. That's not what it means. That's exactly what it means. Y'all don't live in America? That's exactly what it means. Exactly what it means. Exactly what it means. <laughs> if you can't prove it, I didn't do it. I don't even know what y'all talking about. It's reality, man. Y'all read Shakespeare. Come on, y'all know what it is. That's just it. <laughs> if you can't prove it, then I didn't do Coach it. Coach Roy, I want to start with... Well, how did your life change? First of all, I'll start there. I'll start there. I do want to answer to that. Um, there's two sides of that, right? There's the gangster side of it. It ain't changed nothing. It's just now more people know the way I look and see things. And then on the flip side of it, when you keep it real, it definitely um, forced me to start making different decisions and moves because when you're doing this, like whatever, ha, 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 and then you realize that I got a son and a daughter that are going to watch that one day. So mm. on the real, you know what I mean? The mistakes that I made, you know, I want to make sure that my son knows like, yo, that's not cool. And then for my daughter, because they say your daughters end up dating somebody like their father, make sure that you date somebody, marry somebody like Coach Roy after the documentary. Well, tell us more about him. Who, Coach Roy? After, after the documentary. Man, I'm just chilling, laying low, man, being real careful in what I do, what I say. So that's why I said I appreciate you guys having me because you get a lot of people blowing your phone up and wanting to talk and stuff like that, but I just uh, really appreciate people that give me a fair shake, right? Yeah, those people I don't think wanted to highlight some of the good. No, they weren't going to. And yeah. that's what I said. I don't got a problem talking about what I did wrong. You know what I mean? If you ask me what I did wrong, this is what I did wrong. And I if do. you ask me what I did right, this is what I did right. Do you think you were fairly painted? For what I did wrong? Yeah, that's what I did. It's the stuff that it was true. Yeah. What about? I did. Well, so they didn't acknowledge some of the things that you felt that you did correctly. No, why would they? People don't click on that. Don't, why would, nobody want to see that. So right now, you know, one of the things that I tell people all the time, like I said, we'll get time to talk shit and laugh, but one of the things that I say that people don't realize is that it provided opportunities for young men to go to college. And so we have people in our program that are currently playing college, and people don't understand that, right? So guys in the program play for University of Cincinnati. Guys in the program play for Alabama State. Guys in the program play for John Carroll. So you got plenty of guys that are playing JUCO. And not only that, they didn't understand that what we did was 
the summer before football season, we took a tour from Youngstown State, which is in Northeast Ohio, all the way down to Houston. We visited the last three national champions. And you give them that experience to do that. So that's the positive that has there, you know what I mean? So when you talk about the good, that's what we did good, you know what I mean? And like I said, we're gonna learn from our mistakes, right? Because otherwise that's not being accountable, you know what I mean? We're gonna uh, continue to do the things that we did right because that makes sense, we're gonna build on that. And then one thing that I always talk about when we're having a real conversation is that uh, we're gonna honor all the people who didn't make it that got killed along the way. You know what I mean? We had a coach that was killed. Mm. We had six people that died you know, because, you know, they either went back to the streets or some t in some cases it wasn't their fault at all. You know, I always talk about TJ. You know, we miss him a lot. You know, he was uh, the first quarterback we had that uh, took us to our first 500 season. So that was a big deal. And then he was going to Central State. And then, you know, things didn't work out. Wrong place, wrong time. He ends up getting killed. So when you keep it real and put all that click bullshit to the side and actually talk about what the program was about, the program saved a lot of young men. So... You know, when I talk about guys like TJ, we have another dude, Calvin Dawson. I'm going to shout him out. And uh, he said one of the most uh, heartfelt things I ever said. Um, he was talking to one of the producers from uh, Barstools. And he was like, yeah, I was about to go to college. The program helped me be a man. Ran up in the crib, shot him six times. And now he's in a wheelchair. And when they interviewed him, you know what he said? He said, Coach Roy was the reason that I got into college. This program helped me be a man. And even from this wheelchair, I stand for Coach Roy. So HBO you, interview him? Of course not. Why would they interview him? him? Yeah. So when you talk about things like that, let's keep it real, right? Because we want to have a real conversation about our education. If you want a real conversation about our opportunities, it provided opportunities for some. And for some, it didn't work, right? But how is that different than any other school that mm -hmm. you go to? You know what I mean? So well, there's that part of it. Well, Coach Roy. Let's talk about it. I see you speaking about the kids that did well. Correct. I want to ask about number 54, which was the kid that got hurt versus uh, IMG. That they didn't, they didn't have a record of him. <clears throat> they didn't even have his name. And I was watching. They had his name, who his number. They made him switch his number. He wore number 33 as a defensive lineman. And then when we got there, their rules for this particular refs was that he had to have a lineman number on. So they made him put on number 54 because that was the extra jersey that we had. Okay. <sighs> What's so funny? Coach Royo. why you didn't have trainers? That's not true either. That's just what people said. Oh, so there's a lot that they showed that wasn't true. Yeah, so they said, oh, we didn't have trainers. So, for instance, when you go play a high school game, I don't know if you guys play high school football, but I explain it for the casual watching person. The people that set it up, there are paramedics there, there are doctors there, and there's trainers. IMG has more money. So they'll bring all the trainers and stuff so we can save some money and not have to bring our own trainers. But we also kept a nurse on staff, which is ranked higher than a trainer. But they didn't bring that up because that doesn't fit the story. That doesn't fit the narrative. Well, and when they said number 54 tore, had a torn ACL, like the people that they showed out there didn't look like they knew what they was doing. Well, you can go back and watch the ESPN film, right? So our coaches obviously run out, and then there's a paramedic truck van right there with paramedics on it. They come out just like the NFL, right? When somebody gets hurt, the trainers just put tape. So when people throw that around, we had nurses and we had an on-call doctor. So you don't acknowledge nothing you did to be like scammy. Like, I, of course I do. Like, yeah. I got you like, in the <laughs> scam hall of fame. Yeah, and you should, because I'm that. But he, he, that's not what we're talking about. You up there with that's Ms. the problem. He's the problem up there with Miss Cleo. No, nah, this no, nigga no, is no, the GOAT. No, yeah, well, he up yeah, there with Miss Cleo. Don't forget it, but with the, we're not talking about that. We're talking about what I did right, right? And if you guys mm. want to talk about the other shit, we could talk about the chickens and the other shit that I did. <laughs> like, y'all want to talk about it, we can talk about it. Well, I do. <laughs> yeah, because that's what people want to hear. They want to hear. You know what I'm saying? They want to hear. I do. They hear about that. Yeah, they don't want to hear about that. They don't want to hear about this. They don't want to hear about the struggles that we have. They don't want to hear about the moves that we had to make. They don't want to hear about that because guess what? People don't want to hear about that. And guess what? I'm cool with it. Let's, we can talk about. Let me ask you a question. And, What's up? And you and you watching the doc. Mm -hmm. Um, one. Let me ask. How do you feel about the doc? I think the doc was done well. I mean, I learned a lot about media and entertainment, right? You bring people on, you ask them questions, you put the information out there, and you let people believe what they want to believe and make a decision right and back and forth, right? Mm -hmm. So somebody comes out in a document and says, he filled out 150 PPP loans. Any stupid motherfucker who thinks that I filled out PPP loans for 150 kids and is walking around free is just stupid. Oh, I thought that. I did believe that. I could be stupid. Nah. I've been stupid before. 
Nah, you know, you know, nobody's feeling Because when I'm watching your shit, knows. Coach Roy, one of the first questions I asked myself was, this is brilliant, but it takes funding. Remember I came in and said that? How mm -hmm. is he funding this yeah, stuff? Yeah, said that. So if the PPP part, which, listen, get a t for the people that didn't see the doc, they said that Coach Roy was attached to a church. <laughs> and that was the first time around. What did they say the second time around? The first time around, there was a church that was uh, funding it. And there's proof of that. There's whole articles on it. The church was funding it. And then for some reason, the church pulled out. And I, I mean, I don't know why they pulled out. Besides the fact that they ain't shit, but they So that out. part was true. Absolutely. So gotcha. we were working with a church, and the church originally opened up this program in the school. Then you can read the article and it explains that the church got under investigation. It was a whole big mess. Mm -hmm. So when that happened, there were 60 kids up in, uh, we were doing camp at a hotel. Here's another thing. The church rented the hotel. I didn't. But people said, oh, he rented the hotel because they don't know what the fuck they talking about. So the church backed out and I had 60 kids that had nowhere to go. So that's the part that they don't tell you, right? So the part that they tell you is, oh, he brought us out here and it wasn't what he said. Nah, that's why when they were talking about, oh, he had this field above this and all those architect drawings and all that. Yeah, there was architects, the guys that uh, designed the Olympics that came and worked on it. There was a lot of people that put a lot of money. There was a lot of people that lost a lot of money dumping it in, investing into something that the church said they were going to do. They also don't tell you that we got 100 acres donated. We cleared the land off. We had the land level for football fields and all that. They don't tell you that. And then the church pulled out. They How were you like, able to do that? I went into the church and was like, you need to start helping these niggas. And the church was down. They already had a school program. And they came to me and they said, hey, we would like to do something to help the community. It was called the Economic and Development Program. I said, well, the way you can help the community is provide an option for kids to come and play sports because the education system in inner city suck. They let niggas play football with .83 GPAs. Mm. You want to hear something that's real foul? That whole OSHA with that little uh, nerdy white guy that was running around. It's my man. You, it, you like the snitch? It's not. <laughs> it, hey, Coach Roy, it's not a good doc without him. What are you talking about? It's not a great doc without the little white investigative journalist snitch dude. It's not. A, you, you need know, him. No, you I need, don't need him, bro. I to, needed to him as a, as a viewer. To make the duck. Because he was getting busy. Coach Roy was getting busy. Ain't nobody said shit. Uh, all it takes is one little white dude and to he say, not let it go. hey, he yeah, and he not, didn't let it go. He, you know he, he had listen, your listen, ass, Coach listen, Roy. Listen, listen let, me t let, me tell you, let me tell you what this bitch used to do. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This, this, bitch, this bitch, listen to what he used to do. This bitch would call up coaches and say he was a state investigator, right? And Coach Roy's up there, and he's doing this, and he's doing that. What he doesn't realize is that he's causing, he's running interference on kids getting a second chance, right? On something that isn't illegal. He just didn't like the way I was going about it, right? That's why he said that dumbass shit. Just because you can't shoot yourself in the leg doesn't mean you should. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. All I know is I didn't violate any rules, and this is why it was okay. And here's the thing, people don't understand. Before IMG, we had played 30 some of my games. So the only reason that this became an What issue was your record in those games? Uh, we were seven and 23. Y'all won seven games? Yes, sir. That, them niggas ain't look like they could win seven games. Okay. And the little white dude said that some of them wasn't kids. That's what, what he said. What, so what we need to you, go talk. We need to go talk about that. That Coach Roy. I didn't break any rules. He's a bitch. He don't know what he's talking about. You can, can't listen to him talk to somebody that never picked up a football, took a snap a day in his life. You don't even know what he's talking about. So then he runs around. You know what I mean? He says all these things, causing these issues, right? And so, like you said, they needed somebody like that. So they went and got him. They put him on there. And then, you know. No, Joe Biden.